Nick, we're a few days away from the Champions League round two game against Benfica here at Ibrox. How big an opportunity is this for the squad to play here? It's massive. I think what we achieved last season um, has definitely took us in the right direction of where we want the club to go. So to secure Champions League football and especially playing at Ibrox is a massive achievement for the club and we're just really ready to get going now. And to be playing, like you say, the top level football here at the stadium, how positive can this be for the women's game too? Yeah, I think it's really important that we, we get to play big games here at Ibrox. You can see other teams are doing it across the country, so for Rangers to give us that opportunity to play at Ibrox on, a, on one of the best stages in the world is, is something that we're really excited about and I, I think it'll genuinely really improve and, and really get the women's football game in Scotland going. And there were two really strong performances in Greece from the squad in round one. How do you reflect on that first, first games in the competition? I was really proud of how the girls handled it. I think there was only maybe four or five players who had had Champions League experience before, but you could really see the, the grit and determination from everyone at the club, the staff included, is the more experience you get in that environment is only going to help you going forward. But like the girls were, were excellent throughout the two games and seen out what, like results that what we needed to do against aggressive teams. Um, so no, I think the girls and the staff in that trip were, were outstanding. And what can the squad take from those performances heading into the, this next round against Benfica? The biggest thing in Champions League football is getting that experience and playing top football against top oppositions and, and that's what we're going to get against Benfica who are on a fantastic side. But like I said, we've got experience in our, in our belts now and it's going to stead us going forward for the rest of the, the tournament. And you are one of the players who obviously has had Champions League experience before. How much do you enjoy being involved in this competition? It's one of my favourite competitions. I love playing Champions League football. It's it's so different. It's it's much more aggressive, and the standard of football is is, is really high. So to to be playing that at Ibrox as well is, is something that I'll never forget. Come Tuesday night, and hopefully we can get a result. And over the years, what have maybe been some of the highlights for you in European competition? Well, of course, when I was at Glasgow City, we we got to the quarterfinals of the Champions League twice. And if you look on the outside, probably. People would say Scottish football teams shouldn't really be getting to the quarterfinals, um, especially in the women's game. So to achieve that with Glasgow City was a fantastic achievement. But now I'm at Rangers, and that's something that I'm I'm really geared towards, and hopefully we can do. And for the squad here, it has been an incredibly positive start to the season. How much confidence can that give you all heading into this time? Yeah, we've had a fantastic start to the season. Um, we're we're scoring goals all over the pitch, like we've said in the last few times. It, it's not just coming from your strikers, it's from every everyone within the squad. And I think that shows the level that we've got at the club. Um, so I think that's going to really be positive going into the match, is that we, we're not only looking goals from our strikers, but it's coming from all across the pitch. And we've, we've got really good results coming into the Champions League as well and, and maximum points from the league. And in terms of Benfica, are you expecting another step up in opposition in, in this tie? Absolutely, yeah, it's the usual kind of Portuguese side who will be very technical um, and tactical um, but I think for a team like us in Scotland we're, we're an aggressive side and we want to be in their faces and, and not give them time on the ball and I think that's something that we'll be looking to do on Tuesday and, and look. Hof hopefully we can get a result but we know ourselves that it's going to be a tough match and we need to be at our very best. And being home first, it's obviously a, a two-legged tie, how can the squad use that as a positive to, to really kickstart the tie? Well, hopefully we can just keep stay in the tie in the, at home um, and then take a result over um, to Portugal. But look, it's going to be a fantastic occasion for the club um, playing in front of our home fans and hopefully that can gear us on to get a result going over to Portugal. And what would it mean to you all to obviously see a, a great crowd here on Tuesday as well? Yeah, I can't wait for it, to be honest. It's, it's going to be unbelievable. Uh, I remember when we played against Aberdeen not so long ago and the fans that turn out, um, but hopefully we can get even more at this match because you know what it's like in football, it's, they really are the 12th man, so hopefully we can generate a, a really big crowd and make it another fantastic occasion for the club.